This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. There is an item in Old School RuneScape that can only be obtained from two different sources, and both ways are kind of strange. The item is the Mist Battle Staff, which is an elemental staff that provides unlimited air and water rune. And the only way of getting it is from Superior Slayer creatures, starting at a drop rate of 1 in 393 from Crawling Hand Superiors, all the way down to 1 in 46 from Colossal Hydra Superiors. The second way you can get yourself this staff is from Water Fiends, at a staggering rate of 1 in 3000. Water fiends are found in three different locations, the first one being the Ancient Cavern, which is accessed by jumping into this whirlpool right here. The second one is the Kraken Cove, which requires a Slayer task to actually kill them in. And lastly, the Iowarth Slayer Dungeon, which requires the quest Song of the Elves to be completed to even access. In this video, we will be killing up to 3000 water fiends in the Iowarth Dungeon, in hopes of receiving the Mist Battle Staff. I'm going to be picking the Iowarth dungeon because, on top of the normal loot that the water fiends drop, they also have a chance of dropping a crystal shard, which is just added benefit and profit to the grind. But before we can get into the grind, I need to get myself an ash sanctifier, which automatically scatters ashes that these water fiends do drop to give some free prayer experience, and for that we need the hard current diary completed. And that is the easy diary completed. And that is the medium diary completed. And lastly, this is the hard diary completed. And as always, diaries do give you some experience lamps. We're going to be using them all into agility for around 20,000, a bit more than that agility experience and an agility level, 82 agility achieved. And it's now time to pick up the Ash Sanctifier. The option is right there and we have now obtained it. Before you can use the Sanctifier, you need to charge it. One death rune is 10 charges. We're going to be killing up to 3,000 water fiends. So 300 death runes it is for 3,000 charges. Now when it comes to gearing, this is what I'm going to be using. I have a pretty decent magic defense as they use both magic and ranged and I'm going to be protecting against ranged on the entire grind. And I have actually brought an imbued heart as well for some extra magic defense. It is just one click every five minutes so it's very helpful. And of course we do also have a cannon. This is not a multi-combat area but just some extra damage that I can get in is of course appreciated. But before we get any further, this video is sponsored by the military online game War Thunder. As someone who loves vehicle combat, I can safely say that War Thunder is by far the most complete game ever made in the space. There's more than 2000 vehicles to play, such as tanks, planes, helicopters and ships in epic PvP battles. The detail on these vehicles is absolutely stunning which leads to great immersion. For those looking for an action-packed gaming experience or are big fans of tactical gameplay, War Thunder is the game for you. Offering intense PvP battles or even laid-back gameplay where you just get to appreciate the quality of the vehicles of the this game. All of that will be found right here. War Thunder has by far the most detailed vehicle damage models in gaming as a whole. They don't operate on normal hit points when taking fire, rather they suffer actual damage to their components and crew. This can be seen through a damage x-ray showing exactly what happened to you or your enemy vehicles. When it comes to my personal favorites in this game, I love all the planes. I'm the type of guy to love really fast moving things and not really the type of guy to love the slow moving tanks, but Whatever you really enjoy, all of it is in this game. Play War Thunder right now on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5 or previous console generations by clicking on my link in the description and by doing so you will receive a large free bonus pack including multiple premium vehicles, premium accounts, boosters and much more. Thank you so much to War Thunder for sponsoring the video and let's get back into it. And of course, now that we have the Ash Sanctifier in the inventory during this grind, we will get 5 prayer experience for every single kill right there. It's not a lot, but at least it's going to give me 15,000 free prayer experience if we go on drop rates. This 151 water rune drop here is why this drop table is so weird. These are actually two different water rune drops in the same one. The Water Fiends have a guaranteed drop of one single Water Rune every single time, but also a 1 in 23 chance of giving 150. So when you get that 150, you also get that one guaranteed. And then we have the first Crystal Shard of the Grind. These can be converted to around 9000 GP if you make Divine Super Combat Potions, but you need 97 Herb Lore for that. And unfortunately, we only have 78, so we're not going to be able to do that. But these are 1 in 24 drop rate from Water Fiends. 
Oh my god, after only a, like 80 KC, we got the most valuable item on the entirety of the Waterfiend drop table, except for the Miss Battlestaff itself at 43k, the Snap Dragon Seed, the 34,000 GP, and it is 1 in 755 drop rate, so we definitely got a bit spooned there. Of course, it is still only 33k, so uh, yeah. Not too good profit at these creatures. I've been keeping track of time and we are about to hit the 1 hour mark of the grinds and we have killed 213 water fiends, which means this grind on drop rate will take around 15 hours to complete, so it's pretty hefty for what it is. I was starting to wonder when I would get the first one, but that is the first hard clue skull of the grind. They are 1 in 128 drop rate, and I went nearly double that for the first one. These will be the highlight of the grind, to be honest, and I should, if I go on drop rate for the miss battle stuff, get around 20 of them. And obviously, you can get some really valuable things from hard clue scroll, so there is some potential there. So as I was doing my hard clue scroll, I realized I have not been utilizing any special attack at all. So I went over to the GE and bought the Saradomin God Sword. If you're wondering what the special attack does, it is on the screen right now. It's quite a lot of information, but essentially it heals you and restores prayer when using special attack. All right, let's give it a spin. First Saradomin God Sword spec of the grind. Be massive. Okay, three damage. And the second one is 20. Okay, second one was at least decent. First special attack again. Let's give it another try. No three damage, please. Ooh, that is way better. 45. And the second one is even better. 49. Okay, that's way better. I actually kind of missed it, but we are a bit past the 500 KC mark now on Water Fiends, and I did catch up on the Clue Scrolls, I was really unlucky on the first one, but we are now actually above the rate of them, so that's really good to see. That's another Crystal Shard, but in terms of Crystal Shards, we are a bit behind, not much, but uh, just a few. I have done so many hard Clue Scroll steps in the wilderness, and I've got so tired of re-gearing every single time, so I just did something really dumb. I'm currently risking like 300 million GP just to do a hard clue skull step, but at least it saves me a minute in re-gearing. And look at that, it was worth it, we made it out alive. Are you kidding me? I just risked all of that in the wilderness just to get the Entrana step, which requires you to not have any gear equipped. I'm done. So we just hit a thousand water fiends, but you might notice that my prayer counter is a couple of experience points off. That is because I did accidentally, yes, unfortunately, turn off my Ash Sanctifier for a couple of kills after I went to the wilderness. Honestly, not sure how it happened, but uh, yes, we will unfortunately end a bit under 15k because of that. Also, another thing I want to mention that I absolutely completely missed was actually, if we look on the right side here, I actually got a Torstall Seed before, and that, I did not realize, is an extremely rare drop, and actually more rare than the Mist Battlestaff that we're actually hunting. It's 1 in 3,776 drop rates, so we've technically had something more rare than the staff. Oh, we just maxed it. That was 33 HP and 16.5 prayer points in one special attack. So that is now the halfway point, 1,500 Water Fiends defeated, and this is going to sound probably pretty strange. But I'm actually having some fun with this, because I'm getting so many hard clue scrolls, they're really easy to kill, at least with this setup, which of course is a very high tier setup. But actually, in the future, if I do Slayer, I've always skipped Water Fiends, but this has actually made me reconsider, because you kill them pretty fast. As you can see, they are dying very fast, it's pretty good crystal shards. Hard clue scrolls as I mentioned, and overall, I'm pretty happy with this task if I get it. Also, if you're curious what the Slayer experience rate with this setup would be if you were in a Slayer task, with 128 HP per monster giving 128 Slayer experience, it would be around 26,000 Slayer experience an hour, which is actually not that bad. You know, since I upgraded my house in the last video, I've kind of realized what I've been missing out on. Having all these teleports is so nice, I don't have to bring them when I do clue scrolls, I can just click here, and I'm right there. And that is the hit for 2000 KC done on Water Fiends. Going past pretty fast, so that is very nice, but no miss battle stuff inside yet. And after I've done with this grind, winning or losing it, I'm going to be opening a bunch of hard clue scrolls. Oh, no way! What? I actually got the Miss Battlestaff! I was so tapped out, 
I was so sure I was not going to get it. This is the final KZ, by the way. That was so close. Oh my god. But from that grind, we ended up getting 24 hard clue scrolls. And a master clue scroll is 1 in 15 to get from hard clue scrolls. So we might actually end up doing some masters as well. Let's go ahead and open them and see what we can get. I just got 300 hard clue scrolls completed. And uh, I think that's an emote. Yes, the Yuri transformation emote, which is actually a pretty cool one. So I'll definitely take that. I'll add the bonus to the grind. And the first master has been achieved. Let's go ahead and complete it. And that is the master completed. Let's go ahead and open it for 386k. Not that bad, but let's keep going with the hard clue scrolls. Pith helmets right away. And we're down to the last three. No more masters so far. And not in the last one either. And now we have a lot of loot on the ground. So I gotta kinda hurry to pick everything up. But here we are at the end of the video with 14k prayer experience from the grind. Missed battle staff in hand. And we actually made 10.5 million GP as well. And this is all the loot that we got from the clue scrolls. So we got 8 million roughly that I picked up from the water fiends. And the rest is from the clue scrolls. But that is it for this video, it is up to you guys if you feel like it's worth doing water fiends on future slayer tasks. In my opinion, I'm probably going to be doing them, but probably not for the miss battle staff. But until next time guys, take care.